Hello UTK Printmaker. This video is for engraving as a drawing class at the University of Tennessee Knoxville Printmaking. This is an engraving exercise on the Lexan. Once you learn how to sharp the burin in proper way, and then you can start working on the engraving on the Lexan plate. The Lexan plate is a relatively easy material to work on. First, I'd like you to try to make the short lines enter the tip of the burin into the material and to maintain the angle. When you get used to it, you're going to start doing this technique called the stitching, which is uh, making a short movement back and forth, and that will allow you to make long straight lines using an ex existing groove and back up a little bit and moving forward to it. When you feel comfortable doing that and after that you can try to work on a carved line. And in order to do that you want to keep the burin in locked position and then rotate the plate, feed that plate into the burin. It's kind of like a reverse of the turntable of the record player and have that uh, burin locked in position on the table and then rotate the plate and feed into the burin. That's how you make the carb line. At this point, the burin doesn't move forward. The burin doesn't turn. It's, a, a, it's a, all this feeding the material. In my case, left hand will pr uh, push that material into the burin and then that's how you do that. And once you feel comfortable with the carved line and then you start making that um, those are parallel lines line next to each other without touching and repeat that process and then you will see some lines going to be more successful than others and that's okay it's all exercise that's how you do how you create that illusion of the form through those simple techniques image like this made by those complex lines, however, those lines never touch each other. So here, the drawings has been done with a Sharpie marker on the back side of the uh, Lexan plate, and then start engraving in one direction only at this project. We're gonna try to create the value with a, a series of lines next together. And by doing that, uh, you have a control over not high contrast, but a mid value, you can create that with by density of these lines get together. More lines are close to each other, the darker it will get, and more lines are far away, it will get lighter it will get. Creating an outline, instead of following the Sharpie marker, but maintain that same direction that I started out with, and then start the following that and as much as possible with that draw initial drawing underneath it. Once you get hang of it, uh, keeping the tip of the burin in there and relatively light, you don't want to go too deep at this point, and uh, you start thinking about the rhythm of carving. And everybody has a different rhythm, and I would like you to come up with that. And that is, active and non active so you find the time to carve in and then time to rest by finding out the rhythm go faster slower it's really all up to you just like walking and if you want to take a break please do but maintain that right rhythm and then that is create a dynamic in some level if you want to if you're excited about it you go fast, but if you're really ex exhausted, go slow. So finding that different rhythm and that will translate that to your composition. I want you to remember that the activity you do, it is drawing and also it is evidence of your physical activity. Therefore, every mark will be recorded and there is information in there. After you figure out the right rhythm, uh, we're talking about now uh, value. 
how to create illusion of the value and consistent value meaning not just a black and white but illusion of the gray and that's being created by the density of the line meaning how close these lines are uh, to each other and of course that lines are close to each other and the density increase and that creates a darker value and please, if you would like to add more value, and then you flip the plate, and then you can use a Sharpie marker uh, to draw on the back side, so I'll give you some uh, guidance. And then it, be aware, uh, uh, in order to create the light, you need a shadow, so therefore we're carving the shadow. And uh, uh, also be aware not to carve. It might be kind of a wise idea to sort of mark it uh, using the, um, white uh, paint marker or something to s just to paint it out and say no that that part I will never touch it and so so that's the sort of contract yourself that what you must do and then you follow that and so that's that way to go and uh, so you can kind of see the bearing from the side I'd like you to really uh, uh, pay attention to the angle of approach okay don't go too deep you're gonna get stuck and it will make the beer and really dull and then that uh, it's gonna uh, also, also it's very unsafe too so don't go too deep just keep it shallow you can always come back make the line deeper if you prefer if you want to make it darker you just have to come back and then re uh, uh, approach to to create the line between the line to increase that density I think that's that way to do it but don't do that from beginning and then generally, uh, just like it is a drawing, so uh, general to specific. Get the general value, general shape, and then you start approaching to finding out the fine tuning of the uh, gradation in this case. So here's this outline, for instance. I'm following that one direction, this vertical line, and then just do that outlining. Don't follow the Sharpie marker. Uh, uh, just to do that, uh, follow that uh, sort of entire quality of making that in one direction only. And as long as the line's not really attached to each other, and if you want to change the direction, you may do so. And if you feel more comfortable, like, nah, I'm not going to only work with the straight lines, if you can uh, combine a uh, carved line, and I think I'll, uh, that would be a very interesting uh, way to approach that as well. So please do try it out. Okay. But, of course, in this assignment, uh, we're kind of focusing on a short straight line and the combination of the illusion of the form. In this case, this uh, mask uh, form, I'm working on it. So this, you can see this uh, density. And, uh, you know, it's always move around. Don't stay in one place. And uh, uh, drawing is a such thing that you want to uh, uh, control the composition uh, entirely, not just the one set by another set. So once you, just, you sort of feel good about it, you're going to remove that uh, uh, Sharpie marker by using this hand sanitizer. And if you have this alcohol swab, that would be even better. But uh, I think the hand sanitizer works wonderfully. And then you can just use a, uh, the pad or oh, paper towel. And then uh, you can rinse with water after that if you like. And so that's the plate look like on a white background. I'm using this uh, light to keep, uh, give you some information. And then taking photograph over, uh, this is uh, my bed sheet. And then, so here, this uh, Aqua uh, Intaglio ink, it's a water-soluble uh, soy-based ink. And uh, you just, just uh, we're not printing, just make a mark. So uh, apply just a little bit, and then uh, using a, a paper towel, and then press it in. Don't wipe too hard. In the beginning, you want to press it in, make sure uh, ink is in, in all uh, group that you made and then just use that clean part of the uh, paper towels and wipe out the excess area so therefore here you go now you can see what uh, you worked for and then uh, ink will get stuck in the group and as I said this is a water soluble so if you want to uh, get rid of it you can just clean up easily with a uh, detergent uh, dish soap will work best that's great do that all right have fun engraving and then play with the taking photograph. This is a shadow uh, of the plate and then made a little tiny um, video as well. And then so I uploaded to the hashtag engraving as drawing in Instagram. So thank you very much. So happy engraving and stay safe and find the dynamics. Okay, good luck. Bye.